the CPSC has urged Rad Power Bikes to issue a recall because they found the Rad Power Bike batteries to be dangerous, causing about 32 fires that they can document. But Rad Power Bikes said, no, we're not going to do it. And so this is like the perfect storm of disaster between a dangerous lithium battery fire and a company that won't issue a recall. What gives? In this video, I'm going to go through what's going on in this scenario, what the causes are of lithium battery fires, and what can you do about it, okay? What's up, everybody? FC here from EMTB Review. I hope you are having a good holiday season, and holiday season is a good time to be aware of the dangers of lithium batteries. There's about 30 of them in your house, dozens in your house, and each one of them can light on fire and endanger the family. So we, the more we know about it, the better. One of the most dangerous components that use lithium batteries are e-bikes, and that's because the batteries are big. The other reason, and so a bigger battery, the bigger the fire. And the other reason is because they're always out in the elements. They're getting beat on, you know, they're getting abused and shaken, and they're getting rained on. Corrosion can happen, so there's a lot going on here. So the company in question here is Rad Power Bikes, one of the biggest in the USA. So there's more numbers out there, maybe more visibility on them. Rad Power Bikes, headquartered in Ballard, is widely known for popularizing the electric bike. It's a company from Washington State, and 31 fires have been attributed to them, to their bikes and their batteries, 12 of which have reports of property damage causing $734,000 in damage, okay? And the uh, CPSC has been investigating me for a while and they said, okay, this is, this is not good. You know, it, as the batteries get older, as they age, something happens and uh, they become a danger, they start lighting on fire. There's two product numbers of batteries that you'll find somewhere here. It's a very similar battery to this one, but this is not the battery, but it's a, it's a removable battery uh, with connections right there. And it is used in about 10 of their bikes. So, the, you know, the bread and butter of their bike lineup, the Rad Wagon 4, you know, that's the cargo bike, Rad City HS4, Rad Rover High Step, Rad City, Rad Runner, Rad Runner. So a lot of bikes are affected. And the problem here is as the bikes age, that's when they are more at risk of lighting on fire. So this, is, this problem is not gonna go away. And that's why the CPSA said, issue recall, replace their batteries. So Rad Power said, no, we're not gonna issue a recall. They can upgrade, customers can upgrade if they want. And, and it's so puzzling what's going on here, but the explanation is obvious. Rad Power Bikes was big, got a lot of funding, and they're shrinking almost to oblivion. Preston, while so no final calls have been made, Rad Power Bikes here in Ballard could be heading towards a dead end if it doesn't find outside partners or get funding locked in. So they used to have about 500 employees. Now they have about 60 employees. And they issued a warning saying, hey, we're going to go out of business uh, next year, early next year, if we don't get funding. So they simply can't afford to issue a recall and give replacement batteries to all their consumers out there. So it's a perfect storm about a dangerous situation and a company that can't afford to issue recalls. You know, they can issue recall and they go out of business and then there's no more support. So it, uh, it, it's a bad situation. And how are they going to get funding now uh, with this looming over their heads? Okay, so what's going on here? Why are these bikes catching on fire? And what causes a, a lithium battery to catch on fire? The, there's two cases, really. The first case is, and the most common one is charging. During charging, if you have a faulty charger, uh, in a lithium battery, you need to charge to a limit, 4.2 volts per cell, and if you go exceed that, uh, it's gonna puff up, uh, explode, you know, hit the air, and then the lithium, it just doesn't like air. It just ignites on fire. So that's one case. Uh, the other case is if you use the wrong charger. You know, they all have similar plugs. Just plug it in here, and it turns out you plugged in an adapter to your lithium battery. You know, that's gonna light on fire, you know, after a while. And the third case is all these cells have to be balanced, you know, because they're balanced, you know, in, in, a, in a group. If, uh, if, if one cell is this low and this one cell is this uh, high, you know, as it goes up to, to voltage, this is way over voltage. So the, you know, and it's over five volts is when they puff up and it becomes dangerous. So those are the cases for charging. 
The other case is a short circuit. A short circuit is you have a positive and negative here. You know, if you connect these two, just like any other battery, you know, it's, it's gonna have a short, it's gonna spark and whatnot. The problem with the lithium is it is so powerful. There's so much energy density in these batteries that you know, the, 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 the heat up it comes in two seconds. Two, three seconds is gonna heat up and it's gonna puff up. And when it puffs up, all these batteries, you know, lithium just does not like oxygen. <laughs> They're completely sealed. And when it puffs up, so give, give me an example. If I put a nail on this and punch the hammer on it, it's gonna light on fire, you know, a little inferno and I've done it. So on a short circuit situation, it doesn't have to be charging. It could be sitting out there. You could be using it. That's the, and that seems to be the case on this Rad Power Bikes scenario. So Rad Power Bikes says we can't afford it and the, the consumers can upgrade. Rad Power says the incident rate is a fraction of 8%, a, one, a fraction of 1%. Uh-huh. And they, they're thinking that's okay. They know it's not okay, but they can't afford it. Because any of these fires can burn your house down, can kill a person, right? So, you know, the, this fraction is not acceptable. Rad offered solutions saying they can upgrade to a safe battery, so it's crazy. So the key takeaways, if you own a Rad bike, check the battery label and you need to stop using it. You can't sell it, you have to stop using it. Possibly there will be replacement batteries out there uh, from, uh, from, from shops, you know, from online that are safer. These are very common batteries and the fact that only Rad Power is using it is telling me that somehow their wiring on the battery that they use is not very secure. They, they claim they tested it. The problem with testing is you could test it so much, you know, in the lab, but you know, out there in the real world is the real test, right? Two years of using it every day, thousand times, and yeah, it's in, you're, you're always in the rain, it's getting corroded. That's, that's, that's when the rubber hits the road, right? So definitely a problem. So there's the Rad Power scenario, uh, a difficult situation at best. And my message to you guys is, you know, be careful of your your e-bikes, of your 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 or of your devices. Like I said, there's dozens and dozens of these batteries in your house. You know, your bike light, they all use lithium now. Uh, your your charger for your your phone, your devices, your USB-C. I have a lot of RC cars and we had this problem very pervasive, you know, a few years back and still today. And the reason is our chargers are very third party. You know, there's not a single charger for a single battery. And a kid can use, uh, and you have to plug, plug in these numbers uh, <laughs> to charge it properly. Press these buttons in sequence. Press the wrong sequence and you could, you could ignite this. Uh, your access battery, even my little uh, bike pumps now, you know, have a lithium battery. Your phone, your laptop, everything has a battery. So it's a real situation, a real uh, a real problem. For your e-bikes, I would say charge them outside uh, when you are awake. You know, when you are, when someone is there, that way you can unplug it. And uh, the real problem is if you live in a condo, you live in an apartment, you know, you have nowhere to charge it, but definitely uh, be in a situation where you're charging it away from your main living space. The issue is once a fire starts, it is unstoppable, basically. And the, the only common way to address it is throw the pump out of the house and let it burn itself out. To let a bike burn itself out is not an easy situation. The other thing is these fires, you know, they are thermal runaways. You know, they, 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 they'll start with one cell and contaminate the other cells and they, they can explode, they can pop, they can hit you. Uh, if you try to pick it up and throw it away, yeah, it, it can burn at a thousand degrees. So it's a very dangerous situation. Uh, the best thing I can say is, yeah, d definitely charge it when you are aware and out of the house, you know, in the garage, but even better out of the garage, away from any kind of flammable materials. So there you go, you know, some awareness news for this holiday season. Thanks a ton.